Hello everybody and welcome back to Letterbox Book Club. I'm Mackenzie and I'm Claire and today we have a special uh, bonus episode for you all and because it's a bonus episode we are talking about bonus content in yes. a book. Uh, we are talking about the bonus chapter that has been released for Verity by Colin Hoover. Yep, yep. Uh, what a doozy. <laughs> I'm traumatised. <laughs> it's fucked. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I am. Mark, yeah, mark me down as naked and afraid. <laughs> yeah. And scared, horny. And horny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, oh, so. Yeah, Kenzie, you can kick I, on. Yeah, I would laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to do a quick overview of the chapter and then we can talk about specifics within it. Yeah. So. Uh, Lowen and Jeremy and crew have all moved away from NYC suburbia. Mm -hmm. um, they have a newborn child. Nova. Because of course they have to ha get because married they and have were, a, have I don't a child. Know them. Oh, oh. I don't know if they're married, but oh, I think well, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, so they've had a baby, so she must have been pregnant. Um, anyway, and so they've moved away uh, and they are adjusting to life as this new family unit. Yes, considering after everything that's happened and everything that they've kind of uncovered as well. Yes. And their guilt. <laughs> yes. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, so... Last we left off, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> they killed Verity. They killed Verity. Well, they, yeah, they killed Verity. Jeremy killed Verity. They both did it. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm still team manuscript. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, why's that? Because I just don't think even if it was fake that a mother could write such horrendous things about her children and about wanting to kill them and mm. also about uh, a DIY unaliving of a fetus right yeah um yeah I'd, and attempting that as well yeah uh, I just yeah I don't think that it could be written about and also writing about uh the attempted murder of your infant child but if you think about it, like, about the author as well, writing about this, to then write about that. Yeah, well, like, that's her prerogative, like, yeah, but that's I, right. yeah, I just don't. It's yeah. fucked. It's fucked. I have also heard a, a, another theory that Ooh. I will bring up once we get, like, more into it to see what you have to say. But, okay. But I have heard a little something on the TikToks. <laughs> on the tickety talk. Yeah, on the clock app. <laughs> I, for reasons more towards the end of the bonus chapter, I'm kind of team letter. I think, I think Jeremy is a, a prick. <laughs> He's not a good guy. I have also seen a couple of theories. Uh, I, I, I mean, I still, anyway, let's I still just go, like him. Let's, okay. just, let's just go through the rest of the bonus chapter and then we can just kind of talk freely and like go back and forth if yeah, we yeah. need to. So, yeah. So they've moved. Uh, I'm going to say they're in North Carolina. This sounds wrong, but they're somewhere uh, Midwestern America. They're I far assume. away. Far away. Uh, Hoping seemingly no one knows about them. You know, yeah, yeah. fresh start. Yeah, fresh they slate. also have changed their last names. They go by uh, Ash Lowen's last name Ashley, so that no one can like. Uh, yeah. And she's still ghost writing. Yeah. Um, for Verity, well, they know everyone. The books are published, and they know that they're written under a pseudonym and they're anonymous, mm. but they don't know who yeah, is right. writing. Um, and yeah, so they're adjusting to life. There's some issues. Um that we will talk about soon, but I want to get to like the main thing being that they are at the beach and they run into uh, one of Verity's old friends. Yeah, they were introduced briefly in like the supermarket yeah, where Jeremy- Yeah, she was already quite judgy about Lowen moving in and stuff and ghost riding. But like she's also a hypocrite because she's also cheating on her as a husband. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so and it's then, a whole thing. Yeah, so obviously and then she sees the baby and she realises that, oh shit, like it must be Jeremy's. Blah blah blah. Um, and then ultimately Jeremy kills this woman. He drowns her. He drowns her. Um, because no one can know that they apparently have a kid together. Yeah. Um, which... sh sure. I don't remember. Has word gone about that Verity has actually died? The author has died. Yes. Okay. Yep. So yep. Yeah, so this is all like I don't know. People are raising suspicions because. Well, I suppose it would be easy for her to raise a suspicion because, oh, Verity's dead now, he's moved on and married. Yeah. Well, not married. I keep saying they're yeah. married. They're not married yet. But they've had a kid with this woman. Yeah. Well, so Lauren. I think it was just more they didn't want it to get out that, yeah, he's had a kid with her because then people would make the assumption that... Yeah, it's a foul play. It's a foul play. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, he kills this woman. Yeah, um, just drowns her. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk. <laughs> let's talk. No, there's, there's more. They get home and, like, they're fighting and, then, obviously... We'll talk about Lowen and her kind of anxiety and her competitiveness with a dead Verity. Yeah. But anyway, 
and like the kids crying and yes, Cruz... and Nova is crying, crying, is crying. <laughs> How Australian, crying. <laughs> really chewing on those vowels there. No, no. Um. Anyway, so yeah, no. Uh, Krug has already uh, expressed his distaste for his younger sister, and he. Uh, the quote also is. Like, why should I care? She's just going to die anyway yeah, because oof, his oof. other two sisters have died. I mean, that's I a mean, bit traumatic. Yeah. <laughs> like, get the kid in therapy. Though. But yeah, his behavior towards Nova, even leading up to this point, is <coughs> isn't, isn't great at all. Yeah, and his behavior towards Lowen as well just isn't great. Yeah. But to be fair. Yeah. Um. And so anyway, the uh, baby is crying or yeah. something. Um. I think Lowen and Jeremy, Jeremy are having sex. Yes, in the shower. In the shower. Yeah, and they yeah go out and they realize the baby's not there. Um, and they're like, where's the baby? And Cruz's like, well, she's outside because she was annoying me. Like, she was crying. Out in the cold. <laughs> yeah, and so Cruz just put her outside on the yeah. ground. Yeah. So they go and they get her, she's fine. Um, but that's poor behaviour. Poor behaviour. That's sus behaviour. Yeah, yeah. Is he going to be turning into a little psychopath? Who knows? All right, yeah. now we can talk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so first off, I... False feelings of emotions. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, want to start with the uh, competitive nature of Lowen now. Yes. She keeps comparing everything to... Verity, um, and a really big thing for me, and as a mother, I feel like I can speak on this now as well. So, like, one of the things that uh, Lowen does, she said that she breastfeeds Nova because Verity didn't breastfeed her babies. Um, one, her first babies were twins, mm -hmm. and I honestly could not imagine a more horrible <laughs> experience. experience than having to breastfeed twins. And I personally had an awful experience breastfeeding, and I was in therapy for that, and that's fine. Um, but I just think, ugh, I don't want to put on anything, but we all know that Colleen Hoover is pro-life at this point. She has to be. <laughs> don't cover us, Colleen. Don't cover yeah, us. So I think that this is a lot of, uh, projection. Perhaps. Yeah. That like your breastfeeding is best. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because why, yeah, why is that specifically the example that you want to make in this? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <coughs> she's, or she's probably, yeah, projecting, yeah, her views yeah. quite heavily, um, yeah, but then ironically, like again, we we joke, we joke, but we kind of do believe that she's pro-life. Yeah. But she'll kill the kids <laughs> a different way, kill the kids off in her books. Yes, because no, it's all about the fetus. It's yeah. never, once the children yeah. are out, yeah. fuck them. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> fuck them kids. <laughs> yeah, um, and then it's there's a lot of talk about Lowen and how uh, she talks about that Jeremy never uh, fucks her. Yeah, quote unquote fucks aggressively. Aggressively, fuck. Yeah, it's always like sweet and love making, and they have a routine like. She comes in and he rolls over, like he turns his light out or whatever, puts his book down and they make love. And then like he rolls up and then they kiss and they go to sleep. Which is it's, fine. Like, it's like, it's like, <coughs> job done, job done. Yes. Sorry, Kenzie's dying over here. <laughs> yeah, like Lowen is kind of slowly losing her mind over the fact that she's, yeah, being competitive with this dead woman and like turning everything into a competition and... It's um, is it like a like I know it's like a don't speak ill of the dead, but like don't spite the dead yeah. <laughs> away as well because like just, yeah, there's also so much emphasis on this that like Jeremy doesn't fuck me like he fucked Verity, but she's going off of what was in the manuscript yeah. as well, which is uh, is she is she kind of like blurring the lines of like yeah, kind of what's true and false because yeah, she's mm. got the manuscript and the letter, but she just probably believes the manuscript as opposed yeah. to the letter. And also, like, communication. Like, if you want... To be rougher. You want him to be rougher, yeah, communicate that with him. But it has to take him killing somebody and having that adrenaline in order to, like, fuck her brains out, you know? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, far out. Um, but yeah, like, oh, she's... Lowen's just losing her fucking mind. Like, she has a bit of a saviour complex as well, because, like, Jerry, Jeremy's the victim, because he's lost two kids. She kill, Verity killed her kids, uh, his kids, you know? Mm. And, yeah, I don't know, she... I don't know, Lauren, Lowen's just... She's an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> I think if there's ever... I think there is going to be, like, a, a sequel sister book or something to Verity. And rumours, don't know if confirmed if it's going to be from Crew's point of view. But I feel like Lowen's going to take a turn where she she is so invested in spiting Verity and doing everything, like, better than her. Yeah. She's going to write her own manuscript about I her think, life and all of this. I also think that this is turning into a very uh, you situation. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. and so where so uh, to pull this in, um, I I've seen a theory that they think that Jeremy is a serial killer. 
Right. Um, and that he gets off on that. And then that's why after he kills, I think her name was Patricia or something, um, that's when he does, uh, quote unquote, fuck Lowen in the shower and it's rough and she's like, oh shit, like this is good or whatever. Mm. But he also has like just killed someone. So he's getting, like, using that as a, as the stimulation. A sexual release. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's giving, giving very much you vibes. And in you, he does get with Joe Goldberg, gets with Love, who is also then. A serial killer like and so i think it might get to that point where they're just gonna have like to keep... she's like to keep jeremy i need to keep this secret and so i need to kill this person and like right. that's what happened in you yeah 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 i've never watched you but i yeah got the understood yeah. the premise yeah. and everything but yeah but like now it's just gonna be yeah, yeah. and then spoilers if anyone's not saying it but like love ends up killing joe right allegedly allegedly yeah but there's another oh, season. like joe sorry ends up killing love yeah i feel like because there's another season and yeah, joe, yeah. Sorry, joe's sorry. alive yeah, joe ends up killing love allegedly yeah. i mean it feels like jeremy's heading that way yeah because like but then I'm, yeah are they now equal parts crazy where i think it will turn to yeah her killing someone to I, protect him technically lowen did not kill patricia yeah so let's just he is at this point she's at that in point manipulation because yeah, yeah. he says we killed her yeah. we had to do it but yeah. she did fuck all yeah she but i also could... think yeah she's at that point now where like because he's in that we did this we yeah. did it, we have to do this for her, that she will kill yeah. someone yeah but she's also established that she is feeling kind of quite scared of jeremy because she's she doesn't know like mm. he's a bit unpredictable now mm. and yeah she's feeling a very uh, high sense of like stress yeah. and anxiety and or... yeah so she is gonna have to start you know kind of appeasing him playing yeah. along in order to kind of like survive now yeah plot twist what if crew becomes a serial killer we've been new yeah <laughs> <laughs> look uh, i just want to go back to like jeremy and that real quick because i want to talk about like the letter like why i'm a bit more team letter now you can argue to the to you turn blue in the face about whether or not verity killed her children yes. or whatever the, whether or not the manuscript is real whatever yes. but we know for a fact this is conclusive now that jeremy and aided and abetted by Lowen. They have killed two people now. So this is why I'm a bit more team letter, because he was yes. a bit relentless in but killing- But let's also remember that Verity pretended to be in a vegetative state. Perhaps like, out of survival. But like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's crazy. But it's not conclusive as to whether or not she's killed anybody. But that's crazy. I don't care. I can forgive murder. <laughs> you can um, forgive murder? Yeah. I can forgive racism. <laughs> but I cannot forgive straight up crazy. Yeah, look. Like, that's traumatizing for your child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, obviously, you know, segueing to Korea, he's going to be a fucked up kid. Yeah. No matter which so, way you go about it. A couple of other things that I've come across. Um, what if Crew was the one that killed his sisters? Like, what if they were on the boat and he, like, pushed her in or whatever, and then Verity covered for him, and then he sent, like, peanuts in, like, his sister's bag as a snack. But, like, he'd be, over. like, four or five at that point. Like... Yeah, but, like, are serial killers born or are they made? If we're going on the theory that they're born, he could have had those <laughs> tendencies. I don't know. I feel like when authors write children, they're always more intelligent than their age. Mm. I look at my niece and nephew who are like three, four, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, they're not smart enough to be like, hmm, my sister or my brother is allergic to peanuts. I'm going to put a peanut in his lunch. Like, they're not that smart. Mm. They're not, they don't but they're also that, that dumb. They're not that agency. Perhaps, you know, in this hypothetical sense, Verity would be like, put this in your, do in your sister's lunch or something. Yeah. Like, in that sort of way, in, yeah. in sort of instruction. But yeah. they don't have full independent agency to be like, I know you're allergic. I'm gonna sabotage your lunch yeah you know um the next thing that i've come across is that we all know that jeremy was aware of some sort of form of the manuscript yes before law and low and found because he read it a bit quickly a bit too quick it's as if he already knew what the contents were about yes and also that's why he staged the car crash yes yeah so new oh, theory it's going back down this rabbit hole it's giving me a as well, <laughs> is that jeremy wrote the manuscript Ooh. Yeah, like he saw an early draft of it, and then the car crash happened, and then he's like, well, how do I make this in my favour? Um, because I'm going to go and pick a new author, and if I'm looking for someone to fuck, like, how do I get them on my side? Mm. And so, so he wrote the manuscript. So is this still on the basis of Verity killing the children and him just writing it out as truth, or is this just like a fucked up thing for him? It's just like a bit of both. Oh, that, I don't know. If or they're... it's a team letter and it, Jeremy's like, how do I make this mm. go in my favour? There's also a theory that he pushed the guy in front of the truck. 
at the start mm. of the book to meet Loan. Like he always knew that it was going to be Loan. But like that's How... there's a lot of moving parts for that one too. I, w- I feel like there's no indications for them to be a theory because like for him writing, like perhaps. I don't know, there could have been a scene where he perhaps wrote an article and it could have been nice, mm. or like a, a little piece of fiction, maybe, but like, to our understanding, Vic, Jeremy doesn't write. Yeah. So like, I feel like that's a bit of a, like, a, just a, a curveball. Yeah. You know, small little details to kind of tie it together, mm. otherwise it's just coming out of nowhere. Yeah. And I feel like that's a very out of nowhere, because we, as far as we're aware, Jeremy doesn't write. Yeah. I mean, as far as we were aware, he's also not a serial killer, but he's got I mean, two people at this point. I mean, <laughs> but, the, but, the, but we had the manuscript and all letter to fall back on yeah. in order to give that. And he's kind of proved one or the other. Like, I'm getting so confused about what's going on with Verity. Like, oh, it's far out. But once again, I don't think was... he would have pushed somebody in front of... Like, yeah. how would he have known that exactly. Lawan's going to... Exactly, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, it, just bring myself out of this for a moment. Um, uh, there were several points in... Verity that I had to put down the book and step away because I felt physically ill. Yes. Um, and once again, after this chapter, I had to remove myself. Yeah, from... I was like, this is fucked. I, yeah, I felt like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought, even, even if there is going to be like another book relevant to this, I've, I'm thinking like, I, I don't want to read it. <laughs> like, if this is going to be like, yeah, fucked up. Yeah. I don't want to read it. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. I saw your little panic, you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought I could hear something that's okay. Yeah, a demon. This was, yes, this was me when I was reading Verity before I realised what was going on. I thought it was a thriller and I was like, it's yeah. holding in my house. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, what do you think, like, a second book would be about? If it would be about crew or otherwise? <gasps> if it's about crew, I hope he's a serial killer. <laughs> Just because, yeah, I want to go on that theory of are serial killers born or made? Okay. And I would like, yeah, I don't know, like, he's been like, oh, my daddy killed I mean, a bunch of people. It, I mean, it came, comes down, like, I suppose... You don't necessarily have to be a psychopath to be a serial killer, so... Yeah. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, Poor boy is fucked up, though. Yeah. Or I want, yeah, the sequel to be that Lowen ends up being equally crazy and kills to, quotation marks, protect Mm-mm. Jeremy and the family. Yeah. All right, I see it going kind of two ways. If it's about crew, this is going to be a bit of long-winded because I'm terrible at explaining That's things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to be about crew... He's going to be a bit older, maybe like late twenties, perhaps. Like yeah. he's not like a full-grown adult. Mm. Perhaps he is not like psychotic and murderous. Uh, mm. Hopefully, but due to all all the repressed trauma and, you know, I'm sure hypothetically Jeremy and Lauren would be telling him things about Verity, like mm. oh, like your mum was like this, or all these stories about his mum and like how she died, whatever. But something deep in his core knows that they're lying to him about yeah. those sort of details. And I want him to go to therapy, and I want it to get all unlocked, and then I want him to go on a little investigative adventure and find the manuscript. Maybe find, maybe find a copy I'd of the manuscript, or the like manuscript. confront, and then like maybe even kill one or both. Oh my maybe, god! Maybe, but like that's that. This is like a good end of my okay. my, my um spectrum. But if he's just like a psychotic murderer, like I don't want to read it. Yeah, I I yeah would like him to find the manuscript or something mm-hmm. and then kill Lowen and Jeremy. Yeah. But uh, then on the flip side, my other idea is like, because, you know, Lowen is feeling oh, scared. Also, sorry, while I was reading the chapter, I was waiting for the moment where, like, it goes, um, oh, and then I put the laptop down because I need to take a break from writing. And, like, it was Lowen writing mm-hmm. a new story or, like, writing her own manuscript oh, yeah, per yeah. se because I was like, this is fucked. Yeah. And then I realised that it was real and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, as I was going to say, um, or even, like, Lowen could probably kill Jeremy, because, yeah, Jeremy's, you know, trying to kill mm. to survive to make sure no one knows about them. And, like, she's, like, because she's feeling scared now. Like, she's, like, Jeremy, you're, you're the unhinged one right yeah. now. I know I'm competitive with a dead chick, but, like, you're off the rails. Yeah. And she, like, something will happen, obviously, and she's going to probably gonna have to kill him and maybe tell the truth. Yes. Can we talk about Jeremy and the breast milk? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, that was weird. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, there's intrigue. Yeah, there's in a moment, tasting of one's yeah, breast milk. Yeah, there's a moment where um, Jeremy asks Lauren, like, "Can I try your breast milk?" And she's like, "You know, what, sure, whatever." Which is fine. Which is, I tried my breast milk. It's delicious. Which is <laughs> how you go about it. Yeah. And the intent. Um, but you know what I didn't do? I didn't stick my own tit in my mouth and suck like a child. Suckled. Suckled <laughs> like a child, and uh, turned into a sexual nature. And when no. uh, Luke tried my breast milk, it also wasn't a sexual nature. It was me putting it into a cup. Yeah, like a normal person. <laughs> like a normal person. 
Because, yeah, there is intrigue with that yeah. shit, and that's fine. But it's just, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, in the bo- uh, the bonus chapter, yeah, Jeremy um, suckles upon Lowen's breast like a child, um, and then, yeah, it turns into an inherently sexual experience. Yeah, which was like, weird. I, I, I get on a primitive level. Maybe, yeah. yeah sure. Like, sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks, James. He just heard breast milk. Yeah. He's like, damn, I miss that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, if you hear a baby, James has joined us as a special guest star. <laughs> Um, so anyway, back to the conversation of breast back milk. Back to the, yeah, um, <laughs> inherently sexual nature. Yeah, so Jeremy yeah, suckled like a child on Lowen's breast um, and it turned into a sexual thing. And like, yeah, as I was saying, I get it on a primitive level. But yeah. Yeah. Is it necessary in this book? Yeah, I think it was just a bit unnecessary. Yeah, but again. I have heard, though, of um, a, a couple who went to a wedding after recently, like having a baby and they forgot a breast pump and the woman had to uh, essentially be milked. <laughs> Um, yeah. So her partner did it, and then apparently had, they had like the best sex of their lives afterwards. And like, yeah, it does like get the hormones flowing and stuff. But like, I just don't want to uh, connect breastfeeding and sexual things. <laughs> yeah, let alone with people who are m- potentially murdering people. Yeah, as well, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. Like, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. It was, I feel like it was unnecessary detail. Yeah. But then again, I think if, if Jeremy is anything like yeah, what the manuscript suggests, like he's he was down to be a bit bold. Yeah. So, and it was very much a bold request. Yes. But then again, I understand the curiosity. Yeah. Like, everyone's curious, I guess. But yeah, yeah. god damn. Yeah, I don't I don't know what else to do with this book. I I, I didn't even realise there was gonna be like a bonus chapter release. Yeah, me. Either. Or a special like anniversary book or something. But like you know how we feel about bonus chapters. Yeah, like why are you making me buy multiple copies of the same book? <laughs> yeah. I suppose for those who are new, yeah, we are kind of against bonus content unless it is not content but bonus chapters or maybe even as a whole bonus content um we're against it unless it's like uh, fully accessible to kind of everyone because like otherwise you're just buying more copies and it's yeah. just capitalism yeah <laughs> capitalism, really capitalism popped off with that one. yeah <laughs> popped off today you ladies i don't know there was the other day like it was a prominent sound on my for you page mm. i don't know it was just over the silliest of things too isn't yeah. this coming at such a wonderful time about people cheating on their wives <laughs> yeah. with Ned from the Try Guys. <laughs> uh, look, yeah, let's bring a bit of a couple of pop culture references. Yes. Into this. Yeah. Look, but it's a bit more of a complicated situation yeah. kind of with like Jeremy and that like as far as I'm aware Ned's wife isn't in a vegetative state. No. <laughs> <laughs> or she's faking it. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, yeah, men are trash I guess at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry James. <laughs> You're the exception until further notice. You're on notice. <laughs> <laughs> it's your one and only warning. Yes. But yeah, look, I don't know. Do, I don't even know if, again, I don't know if I want to read the next book, depending on what, like, the blurb is. And, like, well, I the... don't even know if it's confirmed or if it's just, yeah, there might just... be a second one. Yeah, yeah, everyone's projecting what but, they want. I mean, would you be content leaving, like, just this bonus chapter being, like, the last content we're ever going to get of that book? Yes, because it allows for discussion. Yeah. But then also just don't release it. Maybe. Like yeah, or release it in your original. Oh yeah, your book. Yeah, book. Because yeah, because now I feel like yeah, there's like an expectation of oh, there's going to be maybe something else in yeah. the future. And given yeah, Carew's behavior, especially towards Nova. Mm. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting. It, it gives a lot of wiggle room for something to go off with. Yeah. But, but I yeah, I don't know if I, I would read it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so unless there's anything else to talk about, like no, this think, is a bit yeah. of short and sharp and sweet. Yeah, like we said, bonus. we said what we wanted to say. I yeah. think yeah. I'm sure I'll go home later, and I would be like, I should have said this, yeah. but whatever. I'm just traumatized by it. Yeah, so. but it's just it's just as fucked as the original books. Uh, books book. Yeah, I don't know, but I'd be happy if it was just left at that. Like again, as you said, just open for discussion. And yeah, my only argument now is like, yeah, technically Jeremy's killed two people. Yeah, but it's nice that we also yeah again get that overview of. Uh, Lowen is actually feeling kind of scared like because who knows what Jeremy is capable of yeah and because she's mixing you know her, her realities up between like the manuscript of the letter and her life like the poor girl is just as mind fucked yeah and I think if she's very much trauma bonded now, yeah so. yeah and aligned with her savior complex because Jeremy's a victim <laughs> in yes, all of, of this apparently is. yes um but yeah oh uh, well pfft. That's it for the bonus chapter of Verity. Like, Thanks cheers for sticking for around. To that trauma. <laughs> yeah, if you feel free to like comment on any of the social medias, let us hear your opinions. Yeah. Um, 
do you guys think <laughs> Jeremy wrote the manuscript? Like, that is so left field. Yeah. Only because, yeah, like, I've never... Do you think Crew killed his sisters? Yeah. I just don't think he has the, like, independent agency to do that. Yeah. Like, he's not that smart. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, interesting. Will there be another book? I suppose we will see. I mean, I'm happy to go... Like, I don't want to read it to enjoy it, but I'll read it to just... For closure yeah. in the future. Mama. Mama. <laughs> That's James's contribution. Yeah. Mama. Mama. But yeah, thanks for listening. Check us out on all the social medias TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, iTunes, podcasts, Google Podcasts, anywhere you have access to Do you that. Have anything to say? Need to say something? Floor is yours, James. <laughs> no, performance anxiety. No, he's done. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for listening. Catch us next week. Uh, next week, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know when I'm just, I'm gonna fuck this up. So I'm just gonna cut this. Catch us <laughs> the next time we <laughs> release Wait, something. On, <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for listening. Uh, catch us next week with whatever. No, no. no. <laughs> thanks for listening. Um, we hope you enjoy this little bonus bonus app. Yeah, hope this... yeah, we don't know when we're releasing this, so enjoy yeah. whatever comes next. Yeah. Absolutely. That's it. Very good way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.